I think I just witnessed the most incredible documentary. The reason why I back creators so much on platforms like YouTube, because they were able to create these immensely beautiful, passionate, inspiring projects that haven't ever been able to be completed before. This one in particular, where they follow the journey of Anders Hoffman to become the first person to ever complete an Ironman in Antarctica, aptly titled Project Iceman. In the film by Yes Theory, a group of YouTubers who had very humble beginnings. They met up, coincidentally, in this serendipitous moment and just bonded like no one else could. They started a journey of Project 30, where they would do 30 things in 30 days that they had never done before. And from there, they couldn't be torn apart. They kept creating, kept building a community of like-minded people to expand outside their comfort zone and create the life that they want and not let these fears inhibit you from achieving the dreams and desires that you have burning inside of you. And this project is the epitome of that, the epitome of community and why I back creators so much. This documentary wasn't just about unders. This documentary was about everyone, his family, his friends, and later his colleagues helping him complete the project, telling their stories, their struggles, their triumphs, not just unders, but everyone alongside him, using him as a reference for anyone else going through a similar struggle, a similar pain where you just have to push through. This isn't just about the creators. This isn't just about yes theory. They barely appeared throughout the whole documentary, only when highlighting when indeed Unders became their first ever sponsored human. We also believe that you can make this happen. I really and appreciate it, man. We came with a gift and a request. Yeah. It would be an honor for us for you to be the first ever Seek Discomfort sponsored human. And we're not, <laughs> you're kidding me. Right? No, we're not. <laughs> and we so they saw his message, they saw his story, but until he completes it, He's just another crazy person. I that so often people that don't have the foundation of actually knowing whether that's possible still have their sort of perception of what's reality and then they put that on you. Until Yes Theory saw his vision and was like, this is the sort of person that we need to get behind. This is the person that will inspire our community to do more, to be better, to be the best version of themselves. And there's a reason that I've spent more money on Yes Theory projects than I have on anyone else. I bought products and services and software from a ton of different creators out there, from books to clothing to camera gear, as I made a video about one of these earlier. But I have never spent more on a product but than Yes Theory, Apple jumper, another jumper, two shirts, flannel, and sign alongside a bunch of other little items here and there. There's a reason for this. It's because they don't focus on themselves. They focus so much in the community, everything that they do, even at the expense of making a quick bag, is to focus on how can we make this community as strong and as impactful as we can, to the extent where people will meet outside of the YouTube group. They will meet on their own terms with other people who keep up with the channel, because they're the same people who have the same ideas about life, who share the same passions, and the want and the need and the desire to be better through seeking discomfort. And that's why this project was able to raise money from so many people. I mean, this is about all I can show you without giving away the film, but 4,212 people back this, all spending $73.69 times 4,212. And this doesn't even include all of it because there were larger packages where you could commit more and be even more involved. And yet that on its own, is already $300,000. Once again, there were other additions that you could pay more for, 5,000, 10,000. One was up to an auction where you could be even more involved in the project. And if you did manage to land one of these tickets, you could have weekly meetups with the team where they would consult about how the film is going, ideas that the community would have, because they are so community focused. I hate to reiterate it so much, but that is why they succeed. That is why people have longevity. Me and my fellow creator, Anton, or TV, we were discussing why one creator has his recent video completely and utterly flopped. And that's because he had a quick strike of success with the copy and pasted Mr. Beast's formula. But there was nothing there. 
There was no tangible value. I didn't, don't care about the creator. He means nothing to me. He hasn't built any relationship. He's just copying and pasting a shouty quick cut formula that works, short term at least. But people like this, they had a really slow growth, but it's because they had a really deep audience, not just a couple people who will come through and leave, but ones who will stay for the long term, take genuine value out of this, and hence will want to give back with anything that they can. Yes, the Euro even offered a deal from a streaming service for this, probably about a $2 million AUD deal to have it go through them. But they ended up pulling out because there were too many fingers in the pie. They weren't able to achieve the creative vision that they so desired. And thankfully, because the project that they've ended up with is beautiful, and that would have been taken away if it was tainted by a bunch of execs trying to tell them what they should do, even though they've proved time and time again that they don't need any direction, that what they can create is absolutely incredible on its own merit. There's a reason why they really want this film to be nominated for an Oscar, and it's absolutely worthy of such a declaration. Because films are about storytelling. Storytelling is about communities. Communities is about people. And they followed that to a T. There are so many films nowadays that don't focus enough on that. So many creators that are too self-indulgent. How can I make more money? How can I have a bigger spectacle? But they don't focus on the people that are around them. They don't look at those numbers as humans, as real individuals who are trying to take value from the content that you're creating. Whether it be just a little laugh at the end of the day, whether it be learning something new, doesn't matter. If you're not focusing on the people, it's all irrelevant because they are the ones that will carry you far and they are the ones that really matter in the end. Because without that, there's nothing. There's no point. What are you gonna do? You're gonna work so you can buy a Lamborghini? It doesn't provide value. The real internal satisfaction of creating a better world around you by helping the people who are asking for a little hand, who are asking for a little motivation, a little direction. That is where real value lies and that is exactly what they are influencing in our world. And it's creators like this that give me so much hope about the future of the creator economy and where this industry is heading. They also have a clothing line which, you know, once again, all blurred because you gotta be signed up to see it. But now you can even be more part of the community by wearing, by embodying it. I don't think there's a greater way to feel part of a community than literally wearing it on your chest. And once again, they do this for a number of projects and that's why people feel so connected, so attached to the brand. Because not only can they see it, not only can they be inspired by the content, but they can wear it, embrace it and shout it proud. And that's just unbeatable.